Hello Liz from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about living on a thousand pounds a month. Thousand pounds a month or 1,166 euros, 1,411 US dollars or 1,830 Australia dollars. I, I did a, a video quite a while ago with regard to living on 50,000 baht per month. Well, because of the COVID situation and everything happening in Thailand, condo prices, house prices, rental prices have, have plummeted. So therefore, I think you can live actually cheaper than 50,000 baht a month. So I'm going to go through this new video with regard to, to costs and some examples as to how you can live here and what you can live on. So living on thousand pounds a month. Now this includes the rent, the electricity, water, internet. Most important, I think, is the medical insurance. Yeah, medical insurance is also included in £1,000 a month. And motorbike rental, visa agent costs if you're using an agent, and all your food, all for £1,000 a month. So, and there's some savings I can suggest that you can make on this as well. And I'll go through later on in the video how you can save on motorbike rental costs or the total cost of a motorbike, and how to avoid the agent fees. And again, just avoiding the agent fees will pay for your medical insurance every year. We'll start off with the house rental. Now I'm going to show a quick video of an example of a two bedroom house here in Rayong. Uh, beautiful location. And as I say, you'll see by the video what a nice location it is. And that's 9,000 baht a month, including the gardener, to keep the gardens neat and tidy so you don't even have to pay for a gardener five minutes drive from a lovely beach so it's a lovely location so watch the video and after the video we'll go through the living costs in Thailand <laughs>
So I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a typical example of a house that you can you can rent here in Rayong. And I dare say you could get houses cheaper than this as well. But this is just an example of a nice house that I know and the landlady, she, she's a good landlady, she takes good care of everybody. And the houses are done out to a, a reasonable standard. So, I'm gonna put some figures up here as we're gonna go through. So the rent for this house is 9,000 baht a month. If you're doing it on long term for a year, you might you might get it down to 8,000 baht a month, but let's use the figure of 9,000 baht a month. So again, I'll put some figures up here. 9,000 baht a month is 205 pounds, 239 euros, 289 US dollars, and 375 Australian dollars. So the electric, roughly, let's say 1,000 baht a month for your electricity, so that's, 22 pounds a month 26 euros us dollars 32 us dollars a month australian dollars 41 internet it's roughly about the same you can get internet for about 700 to a thousand baht depending on, on what speed you want so let's say a thousand baht a month so again that's 22 pounds a month 26 U euros 32 us dollars and 41 australian dollars now medical insurance medical insurance i think everybody should have medical insurance if they're coming to live here in thailand so my medical insurance costs are based on somebody with no underlying health conditions between the ages of 50 and 60 years old i'm 60 years old now and this is what i'm paying is 20,500 baht per year for my medical insurance now again i've done another video so watch this video here and it explains about the, the various costs you have to pay for medical insurance. But this is just a basic medical insurance of 700,000 baht a year. So medical insurance per month, that's 39 pounds per month, 45 euros, US dollars 55 and Australian dollars 71. Now transportation. If you want to get around because we're in a semi-rural location so you'll need a motorbike to be able to get around and to rent a motorbike it's 100 baht a day normally if you're renting it for the day or the week it's 250 baht a day but if you're doing it on a long-term basis it works out 100 baht per day which is 3,000 baht per month now what i'd suggest is to buy your own motorbike if you buy your own motorbike therefore you're saving 3,000 baht a month in the long term but if you're only here for a year or two years maybe it's rental of a motorbike that might suit you but if you haven't got the cash to be able to buy a motorbike outright there are ways and means that you can buy on a rent to buy basis again i'll put a link up to the video there how you can buy a motorbike or a car on a rent to buy basis and after you paid the last payment the motorbike or the car becomes yours and you don't need a Thai guarantor to do this type of thing. But again, I'll put the link up there so you, so you know where to go to. And that'll explain as to how you can buy a motorbike on a rent-to-buy basis. And then the next biggest expense is the visa agent. If you decide to, you don't want to put 800,000 baht in the bank, or you don't have the 65,000 baht a month coming in for your retirement visa, then the next alternative is to use an agent. Now, an agent in the first instance could cost you up to 30,000 baht to set up the visa um, and then every year you pay between 15 and 20,000 baht to renew it. Now there's another way where you can avoid paying the agency fees by using my recycle method. I've done a video, I'll put a link up there for recycle method. It's 100% legal, it'll save you 15 to 20,000 baht agency fees, it's 100% legal, you can do it, it's a recycle method. Again, watch the video and that will explain as to how you can do that through the recycle method. And then that shows you have an income coming in every month of 65,000 baht, even though you're going to be living on 44,000 baht. But the video goes into further detail on how you can do this. And it is 100% legal. And then of course, the mo probably the most expensive part of all of this lot um, is your food. Now I've done a, a budget on 15,000 baht a month for food if you're living on your own 
I'm, I'm with my wife and we budget for 20,000 baht a month for both of us and that, that includes going eating out several times a week and eating at home. So we can easily do that for two of us on 20,000 baht a month. So again, I, I put it to 15,000 baht a month for food. And again, you can live very well on 15,000 baht a month for food here in Thailand. So let's add it all up. 9,000 baht a month for rental, electric, 1,000, internet, 1,000, medical insurance. I think that's a must. 1,700 baht, motorbike rental, 3,000 baht. And visa agent, that works out 1,500 baht a month. And food, 15,000 baht a month. Now the total of that comes to 32,200 baht. So living on 44,000 baht a month, that's a thousand pounds a month based on today's exchange rate of 44 baht. So your living expenses are 32,200 baht. So that gives you, let's round it up to 33,000 baht, that gives you 17,000 baht a month for entertainment, for going out, socialising, because everything else is, is taken care of. Now I've already mentioned about saving money on your motorbike rental, so that would give you another 3,000 baht a month. So, get rid of the motorbike rental, which will save you 3,000 baht a month, and find an alternative way rather than using an agent, e.g. use my recycle method, that would save you another 1,500 baht a month. Total saving from them two items is 4,500. So that would make your monthly living cost at 27,700 baht, well below the 44,000 baht for the thousand pounds a month income. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be brilliant. But if not, then never mind. Thanks for watching the video. Any comments, leave down below. Again, the, my email address is in the description below. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, Bye for now.